This is not a review of the Leica SL. If you follow this channel, you know that I only review cameras if I really like them and after using them for a while. But sadly, I only use the SL for a couple of hours, so I don't have any proper samples, just a couple of quick test shots, and therefore I can't review it at all. And this is a bit of a shame, because I would have loved to tell you about how I always thought of it as a bigger version of the lovely Leica CL. A camera I think is absolutely fantastic. And one that can be had coupled with the awesome 18mm pancake for less than $2000. Which within the interchangeable Leica segment is quite affordable. But the second I picked up the SL from the box, I realized I was wrong. It feels much closer to the equally awesome but different Leica T. It has a similar mega solid and extremely well finished unibody design. The precision in the craftsmanship is absolute top tier. A Fuji X-Pro3 or Canon R5 or similar will feel cheap next to it. A very small detail that might not sound impressive is the rubberized bottom plate. Now I wish all cameras had that. Another thing I would have loved to include in a review is the price. This is a full frame Leica with a build quality I just mentioned, but used it costs less than let's say a Fuji X106, even if you include a Sigma 45mm f2.8 as an autofocus starter lens. An awesome lens that delivers both sharpness and mojo. For my short time with SL I used a $20 Minolta 50mm Roker. I'm also sad that I don't get to mention the control layout and the ergonomics. Since the buttons aren't marked they can be a little tricky at first, but you will instantly remember because it's very clear once you know what button, wheel or joystick that does what. The tactile feel of said controls are also second to none. The grip doesn't need explaining, it's as chunky as it gets. The EVF would have also deserved its own chapter of a review. For being an almost 10 year old camera it still holds up. It easily compares to modern alternatives and honestly I can't fault it. For once, I was using the camera with glasses instead of lenses, so I could have answered the question I often get about if it's usable that way. And my answer would have been yes. Lastly, I would have wanted to mention the least shocking part, that the image quality is excellent. There's literally no point in ever mentioning Leica's lovely colors and black and white tones again. If you don't know that, you probably aren't in the market for one anyway. And if you don't agree, well, then that's just because you're an idiot. So why won't I make a review video about it? Funny story, I saw a camera I've been wanting to review for quite some time. I tried negotiating a lower price but got rejected. Then the SL surfaced and I was still in the hunting mood, so I impulse ordered it. The very next day it arrived at the same time as the first guy changed his mind, so I bought that as well. Later the same afternoon, a real bucket list camera showed up in a store's use section and I just had to have it. But I have a two cameras only rule, which means that I had to trade one in. And since the SL was still sitting in its box, I decided it had to go. Such is life, please subscribe to find out what the other two cameras were and have a look at my affiliate links to used camera gear below. Until next time, goodbye.